What's going on guys? John here with another video. In this video I'm going to be showing my 2023 rod and reel setups that I've got. I'm going to be starting off with my spinning rods. What I'm showing you is not set in stone as you know I, I, I tend to change a little bit closer to bass season when it opens. Um, but so far right now I've narrowed down what I want, what I want to use, and um, pretty much have everything dialed in. So first up, um, this is the uh, St. Croix Mojo Bass, right? It's the plastics version with a Shimano Stratic 2500FL. So here it is, right here, Mojo Bass, and it says plastics. So it's a seven foot one medium action, um, six to twelve pound line, three sixteenth to um, five eighth ounce, and it's a fast action. All right, nice tip, right? But I'm not here to discuss the rod. Um, this is my setup um, that I use with eight pound fluorocarbon, and I'm going straight eight pound fluorocarbon because this one is kind of like um, my multi use. So with this being a multi-use um, setup, I'm going to be using jig head with grubs, right? Um, I'm going to be also throwing spy baits, tubes with this. So this is pretty much like your plastics, grubs, and tubes. And the fact that I'm also going to throw spy baits, that's why I got the um, fluorocarbon mainline. Check that out right there. And this is eight pound Sunline um, Assassin. So up next is my Ned Rig combo. And what I have for Ned Rigs is a St. Croix Legend X with a 2023 Shimano Xsense XR. So what this is, um, a JDM reel. And it is a pretty much a CI4 version of the uh, higher end um shimano accents it's just a slightly bit more heavy um a little cheaper not by much um but just as smooth but i digress um that's not what this video is for so the rod is an xls 610 ml xf so what that is is um so the xls is pretty much um, denoting the model legend x 610 is the length and mlxf is medium light extra fast and as you can see it's nice and soft right great for uh running some ned rigs right i'm using extremely light line on this x sense right this is five pound power pro and i'll be using five and six pound liter this rod and reel weighs about maybe a little less than 11 ounces but the balance point is right at the front of the cork so that's that's excellent you don't want a balance point that's all the way up because you're not holding the rod up like that right you want a nice balance right where your hands are if you choke up and whatnot i love this combo right i'll be using it quite a bit um might be one of my favorites i just got to see right with the uh, accents uh, xr right the jdm model the ci4 version um extremely light balanced smooth great drag nice balanced uh, package over here for ned rigs so my shaky head setup is a G Loomis GLX 822 SSYR. It's a 610 um, mag medium extra fast, rated 6 to uh, 8 to 12 pound line, and it's rated for 1 8 to 5 16 ounce lures. But I've thrown um, shaky heads as low as 16 ounce, 3 32nd ounce, all the way to 8 ounce, and I've had no problems with it. And the reel that's on it is the uh, Shimano Vanquish C3000XG with 8-pound uh, white Berkeley X5 braid. Fantastic combo. Um, extremely light, extremely sensitive. 
it's a fantastic um, niche setup right here. So up next is my Neko rig setup. I used to use this for wacky rigs, but I switched it up as it is a longer rod. Right here, G Loomis GLX 852S JWR. Um, seven foot one, medium, extra fast, eight ounce to three eighth ounce lures, and uh, line rating of six to 12. And the reason why I switched from using this for, um, I used to use it for wacky rigs, but I switched it up to Neko because um, A, I usually fish Neko rigs in deeper water than I do with wacky rigs. And the um, extra length allows me to work the Neko rig in deeper water, give stronger hook sets, and it allows me in deeper water to perfectly execute that technique, pretty much. And the reel that I have is a Shimano Twin Power C3000XG with white eight pound Berkeley X5 braid. And like I said, the white color strictly for visibility. Um, I use Neko rigs from as light as 196 ounce all the way to eight ounce. So up next is my wacky rig setup. So my wacky rig setup consists of a Gilumas NRX 802S JWR. It's um, six foot eight, extra fast, medium power, and the lure rating is um, eight to quarter ounce lures and six to 10 pound line right here. It's got an extremely fast tip, right? And then it just, straightens out and the reel that I have is a uh, Shimano Stella 2500 FJ right here this is the last generation the 2018 model and I got 10 pound Berkeley X5 braid in white like I said visibility is key that's why I'm all of my spinning um, reels have the light color braid, run um, fluorocarbon leader. Heading into NRX uh, Plus territory. Um, this is my bread and butter technique. Um, this is what I always use when I need to catch fish, when I'm, you know, like a do or die situation. And this is my drop shot combo. Right here, as you see, it's the NRX Plus 822S DSR, DSR drop shot rod, right? It's a mag medium, six foot 10, extra fast action, one eight to three eight ounce lures, and six to 12 pound line. The reel that I have on it is the uh, original 2021 Shimano XS C3000 MHG, the 2021 model. And I got it last, uh, actually this time last year I got it. I got six pound Berkeley um, X5 uh, in fluorescent green uh, braided line to a six pound fluorocarbon leader. I use about maybe about 15 to 20 foot leader on this. Yeah, and this combo is like not even 9.3 ounces, right? It's a crazy light combo, crazy balanced. Like I said, I always look for the balance over here on the foregrip. So yeah, like I said, um, this is replacing my um, original NRX 822S DSR um, that I had since 2020. I haven't used this rod yet. So I am actually very curious to know how it stacks up against it, as well as just using it. Like, this thing feels better. Like than the uh, original NRX, partly because the handle. Last, but certainly not least, is my free rig, as well as a utility setup that can handle many different techniques. What I'm talking about is the G Loomis NRX Plus 852S JWR, seven foot one, extra fast, medium power, um, eight to three eight ounce lures, line rating six to 12 on a current generation Shimano Stella 
2500 hg with um 10 pound um power pro super 8 v2 in aqua green a high vis line um this combo is you know all of my combos are are fantastic but um when you get up to the nrx's you definitely feel the difference and um you know with the stella it makes it a joy to use um you don't have to get setups like this uh I enjoy using high-end stuff. I've used bottom of the barrel stuff um, about this rod and real combo. It's for free rigging. So free rig is a rig originally from Japan um, with a weight, a free sliding weight, a bead uh, on your line. So when you cast, your weight will hit the ground, but your bait's going to have a natural glide fall. So I wanted an extremely high-end combo to use for that. Um, as sensitivity is key, I wanted the extra length for casting distance as I do use um, lighter weights such as um, 16th ounce, 332nd ounce. So while using those um, light weights, right, with this long rod, right, even though it is a little, you know, on the power side but it's still kind of the tip has a little um give to it not as much as the 872s but the longer length allows me to get a little bit more distance like this is a true extra fast and when you get to the 872 it's it's got a little bit more um sponge to the tip Right, and the leader that I use is in between seven to eight pound fluorocarbon. So yeah, like free rigging, uh, creature baits, um, craws, and right now my favorite to free rig is uh, a straight tail worm. Whether it's four inches to, to seven inches, that's what I like. And my favorite baits to free rig are um, floating baits. Baits that don't necessarily have a a weight, a neutral buoyant um, bait, so it has a nice action. But I'll leave that for another video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that is my spinning rods for 2023. As I said, it's not set in stone. I may or may not add or take away. Um, I may upgrade. We'll see what the future holds. But as for now, this is what I have going into the 2023 um, bass season. And the next video is going to be my bait caster, so keep an eye out for that one. But anyways, um, I hope you liked the video. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.